and welcome to Unmuted. I'm your host, Marissa Roberto. And so am I. I'm Brody Moore. Feels good to be back on the desk with you. Oh, I guess, yeah. Okay. <laughs> JK, I mean, it feels pretty good to be back, but this is something brand new, so let's quickly run down how this little show is going to work. Yes, one of us will present a topic, clips, tweet, or something we find interesting, then mm -hmm. I'll lay down the line, tell you how it really is. Yeah, he'll lay down the line. Mm -hmm. But one of us might get out of line, and then if that happens, we can push this lovely little mute button right here to get 30 seconds of sweet sweet relief. Our first story of the day, let's put two minutes on the board, shall okay. we, is about Shroud, specifically how the popular Twitch streamer is now the most subscribed to channel on the entire website. Over the weekend, Shroud surpassed 100,000 subs, which is more than double the next closer streamer, which is Tim the Tatman. So yeah. congratulations to Shroud, but how do you think he got this many subs, number one, and do you think his growth is sustainable? Apex. <laughs> that's right. No, that's right. That's what it is. It's Apex. He, he, that's not how he got his initial start. Oh, initial start? No. Well, he's a popular player. Of he, course, that's his start. He's but very how he good. got this growth is because you know that he's really, 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 really freaking good at Apex. Like yeah, straight yeah. up. It's the same story with with Ninja. He's got his like Fortnite blew up Ninja. Ninja was already known. Ninja was already a thing. Mm -hmm. But Fortnite blew him up. Now Shroud's getting his rightful uh, deserving subs. He is uh, amazing. He's probably the, one of the greatest FPS players out there. Yeah. And he deserves this. Yeah, full on display. I freaking love Shroud. I love that he's Canadian. I love that he's like, he doesn't really have like a shtick. Like he's not out there with whatever. Yeah, he's, he's so just, chill. He's so chill. He's just being himself. And he's just that good at video games. He's been a pleasure for us to watch for many years now. I mean, when he retired from Cloud9 in that CSGO scene, I was so upset because I felt like he was just part of that team. I didn't want him to leave. But, and to say that he was going full time streaming, like it didn't make sense to me at the time. But now but it's now like, it does. yo, this guy is making all kinds of bank. Like, he's making the money. Yeah, so at, on the question of is this sustainable? Yeah. Absolutely not. What? It's Twitch. It's, it's an, oh, okay. a fickle beast, man. Now, he'll <laughs> always have his base. You know, he kind of sits around twenty to 30,000 subs, yeah. just generally when he's doing his thing. Mm. This growth, we saw it happen in Ninja, too. It fell off eventually as people use their Twitch Prime subs and go yeah. somewhere else uh, and give it to another streamer. It's inevitable, but I guarantee you Shroud knows that. He's not going to go out and suddenly start wasting all the money that he's going to get from mm. this on things that he's going to have to afford later, like a car or a new house or anything. I'm pretty sure he's going to be fine for a long time, and if he's a smart boy, I'm sure he invested invested that money too in something, you know, possibly that we might see later on. But um, I do feel like I was surprised by the news that Ninja wasn't even up there in the running. I thought yeah, that no, he that is would, less surprising. Right? I thought mm -hmm. that he would be the next name on the list at least. But it just goes to show how like the popularity of the mainstream can take one of these streamers and run with it, but that doesn't necessarily reflect their subs on Twitch. Okay, shut up. Two minutes is up. Next story. Ugh. In a more shocking streaming news, a streamer in Fresno, California was actually nearly shot earlier this week. Five bullets struck a Eric Gann's house, and strangely, his MSI monitor actually blocked one of them. No one was injured in the shooting, and MSI has promised to send Gon a new monitor and some gear for his troubles. Give me your thoughts. Oh my god. That's nuts. This no. is Doctor So this is not the first time we've seen this. Doctor no. Disrespect had a similar situation not too Which, long ago. Which of course was not the first time we saw that. Like there's been so many little instances like this that I don't understand like how this even started. I don't get why people find this entertaining that other people are getting shot at on stream just to like catch it on stream and be like, Haha, that was me who set that up. Like that mm -hmm. is so freaking evil. People could get seriously hurt. They, there might be children in some of these houses too, just complete innocent bystanders that might get hurt from just being around these streamers that are just trying to live their lives and do their job. This is so freaking messed up. I can't mm -hmm. even begin to understand or wrap my mind around someone who could be that freaking evil. I hate this. Now there is another side to, to like taking precaution as a streamer. I, I totally forget who it was, but I was watching a, a clip on Twitter the other day where a stream was talking about when you get into streaming and your, your shtick, your gimmick isn't, you know, being just good at the game yeah. or, or, you know, like Dr. Disrespect as a character and you're putting your personality out there, you're putting yeah. who you are out into the public, yeah. you have to be aware now that you're going to run into situations where people aren't going to like you and you as a person. So if they see you in public or in these situations, they find out where you live, there might be someone to do that. So you have to be very careful as a streamer. It's like, even more so, your parents always taught you, never give away your address on the internet, you know, no, to strangers. Of course. That. More so than ever now. No, of as course, a but people have ways to search like and find out, you know, IP addresses and find out exactly where you live. Like there's just a lot of evil and insidious behavior going on line, which 
totally sucks and it, it's awful to even think about this stuff, but I don't, like, imagine, imagine hating somebody that much or imagine thinking this is such a good idea and, like, spending your actual real life time that you could be focusing on, I don't know, improving your own life and having some kind of joy or finding joy in your day, but no, taking that time to go and hit on somebody else or, or make their life miserable mm -hmm. in some way, I have no patience for these kinds of people. I just feel like these are the kind of people that are going to have absolutely garbage lives because they're wasting their time ruining others. You can only hope that they end up living garbage lives. Because <sighs> it's not fair. This off. we got to move on. Last week, Konami announced that it will be constructing a 12-story esports arena in Tokyo Ooh. that will serve to promote esports in the country. The building will feature the arena itself, spaces for coaching and retail. So uh, do you think that dedicated esports in Japan can work? And uh, is Konami the best company to do this? It was mm. I was kind of thrown off when it said yeah, there's Konami. A, there's a lot to unload there. Yeah, first yeah. off, I guess Konami. We all know that Konami doesn't have the best relationship with uh, gamers or hardcore gamers at this point. Uh. Okay, can uh, like take what do you mean? Oh, hold on. No, no, take no, no. they back. don't. Brody, uh-uh. Why? Why are you saying that? There's so many issues. They've been just been being so disrespectful just to gamers in general. Uh, they're focusing on are their you, Plinko machine, their Plinko games. That's what? what makes the money. That's fine. As a company, go ahead and I do feel that. Like that's a gross that overassumption. That's that okay. fine. But they've forgotten and they've just kind of thrown out all the people and the fans of them before. So uh, for them to have are you, this. Is this because of Metal Gear? Huh? <laughs> like no, no, no. It's more than just that. It's more than just that. Okay. Uh, and, well, and I love Kojima. But it's <laughs> yeah. more than that. Sorry. Um, so it's already weird, especially since they don't really have a foot in esports right well, now, right? That's and the that's, thing. That's, that's a whole other story. It's like, why them? Now, okay, well, like let's look, look at it from a business okay. standpoint, from Konami's point of view. Yeah, they don't have a foothold or any kind of stronghold in esports at all, but they see that FIFA's doing well, and they do have their competitor in Pro Evolution Soccer, so maybe they want to throw that into the ring. They'll have an esports arena to do that, and to try it out in Japan. Like These esports arenas are going to be popping up more and more. I, I kind of like seeing these big gaming publishers get involved. It's a, it's a weird situation. I like it, and I don't like it. Again, I, I don't like... Hater? What? Because you're a hater. I guess... You know what? Yeah, I'm a hater. <laughs> I, knew it. I like I like the fact that esports is getting the support. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Now, what I don't like is that it's coming from people again that are like they see a buck, they want to jump in. Do but they have any, any foundation? Company, Brody. No, that's no, any company no. in this world. Yes, because what is their bottom line? It's the bottom. You got to make, make a dollar, money. but that's yeah. you got to get into it because you want it. You want, like again, esports is built around grassroots. It's been built around sure. community. And if a company just jumps in and starts trying to make bank off that, I think they're going to get called up quick. But at the same time, you know, it's cool to have that stuff. It's, it's really tough. Okay, that argument was weak, and you're you weak. Yourself. Yo, Continue. tell tell us on go Twitter on. how I'm right. Go, Straight go, up. Yeah, okay, sure. Yeah, let us know how Brody's <laughs> wrong in the chat, please. Now, go ahead. We have another story. So let's go. Oh, fine. For our last story, the Overwatch League experienced some slight technical issues over the weekend. Namely, an entire display oh, yeah, screen went down. The Windows boot screen was up for nearly a minute before it was replaced by the Overwatch logo. <laughs> Straight up with Overwatch League. How the hell does this happen? <laughs> Honestly, like, You're dying. <laughs> like whatever. I kind of love this stuff. Yeah, I love this stuff. I love when like big broadcasts have like a little glitch or whatever it is, and like or a camera <laughs> catches somebody doing something they shouldn't be doing. Like just anything like that. Here's that someone walking through a shot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It just makes it so real, and it lets the audience understand that hey, like there are humans operating these things, and humans, well, we make mistakes. Just because the big budget production doesn't mean that these things can't happen. Some of us more than others, Marissa. But no, for really, it's like on on broadcast, like. You two have been a part of so many different broadcasts. Yeah. And it's like, no broadcast yeah. goes without a hitch, except for this one, because we're fantastic. But like, no esports broadcast <laughs> goes perfect. Like, <laughs> uh, something's going to go wrong. See, the, yeah. you know, a minute is something. Now, if it was up there for an hour, that's a different yeah. story. Yeah. But like, a minute, a computer goes out, a wire gets, just dies. That happens. I... You got it. You got to be lenient to it, right? Yeah, as long as people sure. aren't getting upset about any of this stuff. No, it's just the best when like it happens and talent is ha like just on the desk or something, and they've got to find a way to tap dance and make it work. Like I know this happened to you before for sure in Rocket League, where you just had to fill. It's like you and Lala or something. I'm and calling you out Marky Duda right yeah. now, bro. Marky Duda <laughs> had to take a piss in the middle of a bro season two. And he had to take a piss in the middle of it. I think we filled for like it was between 10 to 15 minutes or something. <laughs> Just, we just had to talk. They're like, yeah, Marky's in the bathroom. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he wasn't even peeing. He was just looking at himself in the mirror, like working on his Stoking eyebrow himself. game. <laughs> Getting the eyebrows going. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, straight up. Oh, uh, good times. <laughs>
That's just good times. Listen, right. I have I have no hate for that at all. I lo I just love it. Bottom line, I love it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm sure Chat loved it too. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Chat loved it too. They did. Right? That's the thing. What's the biggest flip you you've seen though? Uh, I don't know. Whenever you're on camera. <laughs> Usually, um, no, no. Honestly, this kind of stuff happens all the time. I really, it was me. I was on stage, uh, and I called out a team to come out. It was I called it Optic. Come out. It was a CS:GO mm -hmm. tournament, um, but they didn't hear me backstage, so it was just by myself on stage, mm -hmm. and nobody was out there. And it was just an audience of people, and I had nothing. Like it was crickets. I had nothing going on because I wasn't prepared. And you know what? That was a life lesson. It taught me to always be prepared in case things go in the toilet. I try to teach you that every single day. Key, okay, this is before I met you. Calm your tits. All right, cool. Well, let's move on. Enough of us talking. We got, yeah. I think, some clips to look at. Every now yeah. and then there's a game that comes along that has streamers raging, and Pogo Stuck right now is that one. <laughs> Even Melee Pro Ludwig couldn't avoid its wrath. That's how you do it. Let's go, Bois. <laughs> I okay. honestly can't do anything but feel pain. <laughs> so that was 50 hours. That was 50 hours. And he was on top of the leaderboard. Uh, the game devs have confirmed that, of course, this was not supposed to happen. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you haven't played this game before. It's just like he devoted a lot of freaking time. You have to bounce to get all the way up, and like that's how you yeah, win. Basically, yeah, yeah. just spending all this time to get up on the leaderboard. So I'm assuming you've had a moment like this where you've just grinded, and then it all got taken away. I I mean like it's like it's like when you try to play rank tired and you lose like two divisions or two two whole ranks. That's one of those. Mo this is worse than that though. Yeah. This is like you dedicated so much time to one thing. It's not like you split yeah, that yeah. time into multiple different achievements and accomplishments. Yeah. Everything into that one time. Oh, yeah. his scream said it all. No, I know because you don't feel like continuing after that. Like when do you ever want to go back to a game like that when you devoted so much time and then it just get you get completely demolished. Yeah, it was like the oh I'm brain farting now that um, when we were in the pot and you swing in your sledgehammer around over when you're over in the it, pot? getting over it getting over it that's another one of those that's so frustrating yeah. you get so far and no, no. you can fall right back to the beginning I uh, experienced this recently but it wasn't the game itself that glitched out it was just the fact that I wasn't good enough but I basically play a lot of roller coaster tycoon whatever on my like classic on my phone and I had to reach an objective but I literally missed the objective I lost by three people you have to have guests in your park yeah three people I devoted three years to this park? Well, not real time, three years, but still. Yeah, I'm like, wait, what? Not real time, it was like an hour, but still, I had to quit I'm, the game. I'm still giving like, Ludwig the, this is the worst and most frustrating gamer moment I've ever seen. I'm hands really? down, I'm giving it to him right now. Okay, whatever, He's top, winning it. top prize until you play it later tonight. Uh, let's continue with the bad feels. This clip comes from streamer Hayabzama, who let his dirty laundry hang out for all of Twitch to see. Uh, <laughs> I I kissed her. Uh, I I kissed Tina four days ago. I'm sorry. Because I I told you at that moment I was gonna. Uh, No, please, please. That's cheating. That's cheating. I am cheater. That's cheating. I am sorry. That's cheating. Yo. I couldn't even look at the screen. I oh. Just got a sip of my tea my here. my cringe uh, just tingles are going off. Yo, oh. okay, so he was criticized heavily because oh, no kidding. clearly, I, I mean, why. he cares more about viewers than his actual relationship, IRL. Um, that hurt. That hurt to watch. Yeah, I got, I got so many problems with that. One, it's like, fine, be, go to the person and tell them, but don't put them on the spot in the public life. That's not fair to them. Oh my they gosh, They don't know that's no. happening. That's like a straight up Now you're, Now move. you're playing for viewers 
off of their emotions. Yeah. Off their, oh. No, but see, uh, Kate, I just feel like, especially with these streamers too, there's so many young people watching, okay? Yeah. So they already, like, it's hard to take relationships seriously when you're young, but the fact that, like, these are people's feelings, and, like, maybe now other people have their camera out while they're, you know, breaking up with whoever it is or telling them that they cheated, like, that's not something that you should be doing in your relationships, number one. These are people's feelings, and that stuff really hurts. But from an outsider's perspective, I really love I, when couples fight. I was watching I you. I watch that shit like crazy. During I this clip. Stuff. Yeah. I don't think you saw. What? But the whole time you had a smirk in your face with your, your mug just know, sipping so your tea. I was sipping my mm. tea. Yo, Drama. Because, <laughs> Fill me up. Listen, I do, like, it feels bad if somebody's, like, legitimately getting hurt. Like, that sucks, for sure. Um, and I don't know what kind of relationship they had outside of that. Like, we have no idea, right? But this is not, we can't understand all of the context. But um, I do, <laughs> like, when couples hey, fight, it was very staged. entertaining. Who knows? Maybe this was just to get them viewers. And do you think so? I, uh, likely not. No, because he what? apparently tried to go in and delete the clip later because yeah. he was getting so much shit for it. Well, no, no But kidding. he couldn't. Like, he kept getting an error message when he was trying to delete it. Karma's so is up. that... Yeah, is that karma? I think it's straight up. Karma's like, I'm not doing anything today. I'm coming over to your place, Hybsama, and I'm making sure you can't delete that clip. That's just... No, that's just brutal. Whether it's fake or not, it's like... That's... Don't... No. I no, don't like that it's stuff. that. Yo, like... Oh, I've, I'm sorry for that girl. Seriously. I don't, I don't no deal good. with drums. But like, yeah, more relationship drama on Twitch. Let's go. On Twitch? Anyway. No. What? Go, no. Okay, let's move on. I've recently been rocking a new phone that tells me how much time I spend using social media apps. And guess what, Brody? It's alarming. Okay, and why are you telling me this? Just... Shut up, you love! Okay, listen, anyway, it's messed up, but we spend so much time there because Twitter is sometimes a dark but mostly hilarious hole of deep and profound thoughts. If we're lucky, those profound thoughts are spiced up with a tasty meme. Help? Okay, you can talk now. No, you can talk! It's fine. Oh, no, okay. I'm back. Dude, they actually muted me! <laughs> okay, can I just move on though and actually read the pro's tweet now, please? Okay, fine. Okay, thank you. Melee Professional Hugs has some decent advice. He tweets out Twitter tip. If someone says some remotely dumbass shit on your post, check their profile. If they don't have an easily discernible picture of themselves or there's a bunch of anime titties everywhere, <laughs> block them now and save yourself the future trouble. <laughs> um, yeah, you know he speaks from experience. Yo, how real is that, though? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's just real life. Listen, uh, there's a lot of haters everywhere, number one. We've already, just, we've already discovered that today and every day of our lives on the internet. But uh, people that I find troll me the most on Twitter are just like, someone's name, no picture, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like some random account they made just to go and hate on other people because their lives are obviously miserable. I'm calling Take a look at yourself in the mirror. I'm calling anybody out right now. What? In chat, on Twitter, wherever you are. If you have a picture of uh, an anime, anime anything, anime, 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 anime anything, anything. I like, I do like anime, but if your yeah, yeah. display picture is that, yeah. or some like model on a car or something, <laughs> your opinion is invalid. <laughs> well, like, why are you so afraid to show your face, though? Like, why, why are you scared? Yeah, like, you, you got something to say, like, come at me and say it with your face. If you talk in crap, you do it to my face. Yeah, exactly. Don't no hide more. behind anime titties. Thank you. Well, or just, an like you said, anime anything. Obviously, for I, I do love Hug so much. Like, I love when he tweets because it's usually is something profound. Um, so I feel like I'm going to take this advice and use it for my daily life. Again, disclaimer. No more anime, no more anime photos, everybody, OK? Disclaimer. I like yeah. cars. I like anime. I don't like your opinions. Oh my god, shut up. <laughs> As Call I give my opinion. <laughs> Call me bro. Crimzix had some salt on certain play styles recently. He says, not sure if anyone noticed this, but it's always the shitty players who go water on a Hacienda hardpoint, always trying to shoot players in the back or the side. That's why I go water. <laughs> I'm also going to call you out right now and say that she tried to bait me into that. My script didn't say that I went into the water too. I thought you I did. A, no. I thought you're a water goer. I am a real professional. So is player, he. So is he. And I'm great. Are I you don't, serious? I don't need cheap tactics like you. Okay. Listen. Whatever. Let's not make this about we'll us. Fight one v one. No. On the stream. I do love his humor though. Like for Crimson's tweet that, and I love mm -hmm. like all the replies he gets from the scene. Um, I just think it's funny when players call it other playstyles, but then like self reflect. Okay, you you, you've been you've been playing Clash yeah. a lot lately. <laughs> yeah, what yeah. is it? What, are there some cheap stuff that you've seen <laughs> that you're like, bro, you're not a real player. No, get out of uh, here. No, like if somebody's playing me with a 
uh, card that I feel like, a hero that I feel like they definitely bought. Why are you beating me? No, this? I'm just curious. I'm, I'm like, no. you're a professional player now. I want to see, like, what are some of the, the low-level tactics no, that people the thing employ. Is, no, you can't really. There's only, like, two lanes. There's only, like, certain characters you can play with or certain cards you can deploy. Um, and also, like, with your levels, you only play people at that level, too. And if they bought some cards, then you usually play against people that bought cards. It's pretty balanced. Mm -hmm. And if you're trying to hate on Clash right now, don't I'm not come on Clash. at me with the Clash hate. I'm just trying to see. I just, I'm curious right now, which is why I'm going to ask everyone I love else, that, too. I love that we jumped from <laughs> Call of Duty to Clash, though, because those are similar. Well, I was just curious. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else? Though? No, there's there's definitely cheap tactics in like any game. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so make sure you let us either in the chat or on Twitter at yeah, Squad State. But let's dive into the mind of yet another melee player, as of course they are the most profound on their thoughts on Twitter. <laughs> Plus says, can't wait to win or get last place at Summit. <laughs> I think it was a typo because it's actually Plup. Uh, um, oh, is it Plup? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, who's, like, who's Plup? Who's Plup? Um, yeah, Plup is uh, jokes, but I do want to say th that I did <laughs> I did feel that tweet, and then of course I click on it and look underneath his replies, and somebody with an anime avatar <laughs> replied, you won't get last when M2K is there. Bro, <laughs> as I said, opinion invalid. I M2K I know, is still good. I know, and you're Yo. immediately canceled with that avatar. Get, get off. Get off, M2K. <laughs> He's still good. He's, M2K is still good. He would still shred you. Uh, honestly, and all these kids with the hate, like, you would get shredded. Don't even ask. You would get shredded. No. Ugh, that, that's, that's dumb. But at, at the same time, yeah. it's really that. So either you have a really good day, and you're like, you're, now you're in top eight. Yeah. Well, I never was. But like, or you just <laughs> drown in pools, which I always did. I'm still <laughs> waiting for my good day, OK? <laughs> you're too old now. Huh? You're too old, it's not gonna work. I'm never gonna be old because I still browse dank memes. <laughs> okay. Speaking of, I brought some with me today. Getting into the mind of professional okay, gamers is one thing, but I dove into the mind of the internet. It is time for memes. Marissa, oh. now I know your hands cramp up uh, a lot when you game a little too intensely, well, right? Yeah, when I'm playing fighting games. Yeah, uh, okay. I'm gonna shoot. <laughs> well, I'm gonna try hurting your hands just by making you look oh, at no. this next clip. No. What? Look at it's the smallest PlayStation <gasps> you've ever seen in your goddamn life. Oh my god. It's How so adorable. Cute. <gasps> like, like oh I, my god. I wanna buy like, I wanna get like a little gerbil and make them play it. No, I would want a little dollhouse and then set up all these little game, a little gaming station for my dolls. Oh my god, this is what I've been missing from my childhood. And this is why so many young girls didn't get into gaming when they were like my age and younger. Because they didn't because, have tiny PlayStations? No, because they didn't have, like we, were, we played with dolls, right? Like when you're a girl and you're young, like you're kind of given like Barbies or whatever. And I had a dollhouse, but um, you know, games weren't always pushed on me. It was mostly just dolls. So if my dolls could have had gaming consoles, that would have been more relatable. So like, would you be like playing with their hands, like making them press the buttons? Yeah, well, I would just kind of like set up their home. Just shut up, Brady. Why are you making me do this? I, I actually really want to know if that sound, <laughs> the startup sound, is like small too. A little small sound. I know. Like, That's so cute. I want to see a little baby Nintendo console. I want to see a little baby Xbox. Internet, get on it. Kay. For now, though, we've got to move on. I've got uh, a lot of cool game stuff. Or I've seen a lot of, sorry, cool game stuff yeah. turn uh, IRL. Lately, the trend has been making things look like Switch, like TVs or carrying cases. And here's one oh, of those. Okay. This one's courtesy of Squid 50s. It's a little carrying case made of Lego blocks and it looks like a switch. Oh my god. So my only issue. No crafts though. Uh -huh. Crafts. Crafts, bro. I love yo, crafts. Yo, your dad had a legit craft. <gasps> oh my god. Is this when I can show yeah. it? Yeah, it's, okay. it's almost like I put that there for you to show people. Okay, I was wondering where you got this in because I keep this in my office. But look, like because my dad knows that I love Animal Crossing. He made me this little mailbox with a little indicator, except it doesn't light up, but still, like how sweet. And I can open to retrieve my mail. You can't see inside, but still, isn't it lovely? Crafts. I like it. Crafts, shout out to my dad. He yeah, that's that. that's le that's legit. I know. Now you need to put like, you just need to RGB it to get it into this century. Somehow. Throw some, <laughs> throw some R RGB in the middle. Now it's a dance party in the mailbox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm One actually day. curious to see if you guys have done any, like, yeah. uh, like I'm, I really want to see if you've done any cool craft stuff like that. Um, again, on our Twitter, at Squad State, post pictures if you've done any cool crafts and stuff. Because you know I really is? love seeing these things. This is, like, really hard to do, BT dubs. Like, yeah, you know, yeah like, that's why I've never like, done anything like that. I want other yeah. people to show me their stuff so I can I would. sort of feel I mean, involved in the world. I'm just kind of impressed. He was so confused when I had requested it because... And then I had to send him like little photos of Animal Crossing, like the mailboxes in Animal Crossing, just like something like it. So now, you know, people can leave me comments or questions or concerns. Like you can leave your hate mail right there. No hate mail. 
<laughs> yeah, right, right. All right, I got, I got one more for you. Remember the days when your mom used to tell you to go outside and stop playing games, but you just sneak your Game Boy out anyways? This safely endangered comic is just like that. Okay. So if you see there, he's got a, he's like, I gotta turn things around. You know, I'm gonna work out, get to the gym. <laughs> Bro, get off our floor. We told you for the third time this week. Get out of here. Aww. That's real that's though. That's real, cause that's my life. And how I feel about the gym. <laughs> Same? No, that's, really. That's, no, we really need to get like, I've been telling myself I'm gonna turn myself around here. So I've been doing like a couple sit-ups a day. <laughs> I, I already feel better. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to get like a, a home little membership sex. or something. I don't like going in public. Why? Because it's scary. Are, and, you, are you scared? And they don't have video games. <laughs> they don't have the comfort of video games. Listen, okay, whatever. You know what? This is a new show. Um, we're meant to challenge each other. You mm -hmm. know, but, uh, mostly mentally. But I feel like we should challenge each other physically as Why? well. So no, that that also inspired me. Are you threatening me? me? <laughs> yeah. With fisticuffs. I mean, why not? Let's try to get, let's try to be fit. Let's try to be fit gamers. I'm seeing all these fit gamers just do their thing. Come on, we nope. can do it together, mm -hmm. Brody, and we'll eat healthy. Listen, hey, this you know guy what? literally, I'll no, tell you, you come in every single day, you take, you eat your effing breakfast, which is completely bad for you. You eat like Cheetos for breakfast, and then he eat, eats Tums. Then he eats friggin' Tums. Looks like a heartburn. Yeah, but Brody, you're It's way not too easy for that. living my lifestyle. Only real gamers can wake up with the Mountain Dew and Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> and still succeed throughout their day. No, that's messed up. That's like that's not even an exaggeration. And I don't even want to talk about like the evil that comes out of him after, but I share an office with him and it's not Okay, good. okay, okay, enough of No, this. seriously. No, let's let's get healthy together. That's what inspired us. First show, let's do this. I want you guys to challenge us as well in the chat if you have any tips, tricks for Brody to have in the morning that doesn't give him just vile gas. That would be great. <laughs> Put a keyboard and mouse on a treadmill and maybe I'll be with you. But uh, fortunately, oh, I didn't do this yet. Okay, shut up. <laughs> We're done with here uh, right now. But make sure, as I said, throughout this whole thing, hit us up on our socials uh, at Squad State. That's everywhere you can find us. We want to hear from all of you guys, and we'll see you next time on Unmuted.